Hello, I brought in these daffodils or narcissus into my studio and I want to extract colors from it in very simple way, not complicated. So be fun and you can do it at home and be some distraction of the bad, all the bad news that we hear these days and also a way to spending time in nature by yourself. Couple facts about it. Narcissus or daffodils are from Amaryllis family. There are uh, over 50 species around the world. So if you see in your area, it does have different petal shapes or different yellow color, that's absolutely fine. And in fact, it's good because it's a signature of your area. They grow from bulb, they're perennial, they are grown in spring, and they are the messenger of springs. They grow between end of March till end of April. Even though when they, you see the flowers, they are very, they, they, they die very fast. Maybe in a one or two days when you pass by, they are gone. So if you see them, it's better to take them and get them because maybe next time you come back, you don't see it. That's the beauty of the, all, the, all the nature things. They are very ephemeral. They are not eatable. So make sure I suggest that you use gloves when you're working with it. Uh, they do have a chemical agent called alkaloids that it's good for medicinal purposes, but mm, mm, any part of the flowers is not edible. So it's better to be cautious. However, with the small amount that we use, it's kind of is not dangerous. Um, another thing is about the name. The name Narcissus come, it comes from Greek mythology. Narcissus what if, was a beautiful, handsome hunter man that uh, he had obsession with his own appearance. He, he had so many different lovers. One of them was Echo and she wanted to convince him to kind of get rid of this obsession, but that was not successful. One day Narcissus looked at his own reflection on the water and he fell in love with his own reflection. And he fell in love, he fell into the to the water and died. At the moment that he was dying, he realized that was all the, the reflection and was not real. He transformed to a flower that now we call it Narcissus. Okay, I'm gonna clean this area and I'm gonna show you that simple process that you can enjoy it, enjoy doing it. Let's get started. Items needed are three cups of da fresh daffodils. That is just flour, no leaves. It's about 20 or 25 grams. Gum arabic, uh, baking soda or soda ash, lemon juice, henna powder, alum, uh, coffee filter, and cups, glass cups or other cups. Adding soda ash or baking soda makes the color brighter. Uh, I added soda ash because I wanted to create pigments and make a paste. For you, you can just use baking soda instead of the soda ash. After colors got dried, uh, we add a couple uh, tablespoons of lemon juice into your palette and apply it with your brush 
on, on your color. You see the discharging effect. If the lemon juice is very strong, you see the it can take off and erase the color and make a white spot. And if it's not very strong and diluted with water, you see it makes the color a little bit lighter. For making a darker color, we use henna. Henna has tannin in it. Uh, we use about one uh, half or one quarter of a uh, tablespoon mixed with water, warm water, completely dissolve it and apply it to our color. Uh, to have a different density or darkness, we can adjust the uh, dilution or strongness of the, of the liquid. And also we can apply a second layer of the color on top of the henna when it gets dried. So we can get the color that we like to have. I just showed you two simple modifiers that I added uh, to the color to get the different shades, lemon and henna. There are many other salts and modifiers that we can use to get different shades. I'll show you some samples here like tannin, ferrous sulfa sulfate, copper sulfate. These are all natural salt or material that uh, we didn't have time to cover it in this, in this video.